back to our YouTube channel. This is Jessica here. I don't know where Jennifer is, but I hope you've seen the title of this video, you guys. I cut my hair. This was like slightly long time coming and it was slightly emotional because I had seen the damage in my hair, but I thought I could nurse my hair back to health and I did the best I could. But I ended up cutting at least four to five inches of my hair. And I'm probably going to put a photo for you guys to see. It's really embarrassing, but it kept getting worse and worse. There was a demarcation line and basically the ends of my hair on the right side of my hair were like really thin and damaged and I kept thinking that I could use Jamaican black castor oil or other products to nurse my hair back to health and I did the best I could but each time I will go for a trim it kept looking more and more damaged and really thin and I just on a whim just told Jack you know what just cut it all off and now I'm back to having my hair and it's slightly like a lob at the moment, like a long bob. And you know, I actually couldn't really adjust to it at first, but now I'm actually starting to really like it and I like my hair with curls. So I'm going to fit in like a slight curl routine for you guys. I usually curl my hair when it's just, like freshly washed and it, is, it really has a lot of volume and bounce. My hair right now is not freshly washed, it's slightly dirty, but anyway i just like my hair at this length with curls so i'm just going to show you guys a really small curling routine that i usually do but i'm just going to share with you guys really quickly what i think caused my hair to break and i think the first thing i'll say is i usually sleep on this side i know it sounds weird but i usually sleep on this side and i didn't used to sleep on this side before i used to sleep on my back and i think there was a lot of friction on my hair on this side it starts to thin out a little bit this side was so healthy which made me upset because i had to cut everything like when i cut my hair i had to cut everything but this side of my hair the ends of my hair were really thin and were like really breaking off at the ends and I've decided to change up my sleeping routine. I'm obviously using a silk pillowcase, a silk hair bonnet, but I'm going to try sleeping on this side frequently and also on my back. Another issue that I think caused the breakage was heat. I, we went to Vegas on holiday and I used so much heat on my hair. I wanted my hair to be looking bomb all the time. And almost every day I was putting heat on my hair and the ends of my hair, you know, so it's like when I'm curling my hair, I don't usually put my the ends of my hair on the curling wand anymore because just that direct heat on the ends of my hair my the ends of my hair are really fragile just that direct heat obviously broke off the ends of my hair third thing i think caused it was how i used to style my hair which is a lot of the time i would style my hair in this side parting and i'll have a volume of my hair on this side and this side was um, put to the back and I used to constantly comb this side of my hair. So I know it sounds weird but when I changed things up this is what happened. I always used to wear my hair in the center parting before. I used to compress one part of my hair over the other. I never used to put so much pressure on one side over the other. And I felt like there was so much pressure on this side. I actually used to brush down this side because I like to slick down this side and have this side looking voluminous. And that's why I used to, how I used to wear my hair majority of the time. So I think there was a lot more pressure on this side. So I think that's what caused the breakage. Um, there's so, probably some other factors that cause the breakage and if you guys think you know what causes demarcation lines and what you think happened to my hair from looking at the photograph, you guys can comment it down below. But I'm learning and I'm going along with you guys. I'm trying to find out how to take care of my hair better and what I can do to actually prevent this again. I hate demarcation lines. I usually get it maybe once in three years but when I'm taking really good care of my hair, I don't see it. But Obviously, I'm starting all the way again. It's weird having my hair at this length and you know, I'm trying to adjust and I hope you guys can learn something from this video and comment down below if it has happened to you before, what you think I can do to grow my hair back again, what you think happened to me, what do you think caused it. And I hope you guys enjoy my um, simple curling hair routine and I hope to see you guys later. So stay tuned. So these are the products I'm going to be using today is this curling wand. It's by Amika. I got this in the States and I think it was like an independent um, hair curling brand that I just picked this up from in the mall. And I'm going to be using this heat protector to my hair. It's so sexy by Victoria's Secret. It smells amazing. It doesn't have that funny like smell that I usually hair heat protectants have. So, um, sorry, this is the holding spray. Sorry. The holding spray is Victoria's Secret holding spray. I'm going to use this to hold my curls and it smells amazing, guys. 
and um, I usually use a hair brush to brush my hair out and I usually use Tresemme heat protector to protect my hair from direct heat. This is really important, you can have to protect your hair from direct heat. So guys, I've done this side, so I'm going to start doing the back of this side, this section here. And I'm just going to repeat the same thing I've been doing on the back side. This is my best part, the last part, the, la the last section of my hair, so we're going to be done really soon. Curling my hair usually takes me about 20-30 to 30 minutes, I feel like it's much longer now because I have new growth, so my hair is thicker and there are more sections to do, but we're almost there, the race is almost over. Okay, so guys, now that I've finished curling my hair, finally, I'm going to try and comb everything out now. I'm going to show you guys, I just lightly combed it out. I'm also going to go in with a brush. I don't like tight curls, so basically I just gently comb them out. Sometimes I just take them one by one. I start by the ends, comb it out, just work my way in. If you like tight curls, you can just leave them like that, but I like, like a very wavy effort. I'm going with the brush. So since I'm going for a side part and I like to slick this part down and just have this part out here the wavy, I usually use my aloe vera gel. If I was going out for an event or something, I'll use something that is really going to slick it down. I'll use like a proper edge control, but for now I'm going to use my aloe vera gel. And I just use like a little portion. Just slick my edges down. Guys, I have a lot of new growth, so <laughs> bear with me, my edges are like wild right now. Sometimes I use a toothbrush, but there was a point where I was using a toothbrush and I started to notice that my edges were getting thinner. So I actually have stopped using a toothbrush because I don't know whether it was the toothbrush that caused it. Maybe like tension from constantly brushing against it. Well, sometimes I just use my fingers. But like I said, if I was going for an event and I really wanted it to be slicked down, I would probably use an edge control and a toothbrush. So guys, this is how I curl my hair and I'm going to do a video on how I maintain my curls. You know those loose wavy curls that you usually see Jennifer and I that we usually have? There's a way we put our hair up at night that we are able to maintain the curls but this is just how I curl my hair and this is my routine. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I hope you guys can leave comments, let me know like how your own routine is or what more videos you want to see or if you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.